15 jailbreak tweaks that you may want to try. Anaset is a jailbreak tweak for accessing favorite apps and recent apps from a handy sidebar on your iPhone. So all you need to do is go into the configuration where you can set up your favorite applications and an activator method. I'm using a double tap on the status bar. And now you can see my favorite apps, recent apps, and even some flip switch toggles for quickly toggling on or off certain features of your iPhone. Zentrum. Zentrum is actually really interesting. When you invoke it by using a double press on the home button, you can see your app switcher here, which has these app switcher card previews, and that's really nice. You can also swipe up or swipe down to kill those applications there. And if you swipe over to the left side, you'll see the home screen card. You can just tap on that to get back to your home screen. And if you swipe over once more, you can access your music control, swipe over again, your control center toggles. Now, the really cool thing about this is that it integrates another app search panel at the top. So you can actually launch apps from the top panel and use the search box to actually drill down and filter on specific apps. List Launcher 9 allows you to quickly access a list of all of your applications on your device right from the spotlight menu. And then you can use the little slider here to slide down in alphabetical order and access the apps that you're looking for. So if I'm looking for Twitter, I obviously want to slide to the T's. And once I find the app that I want to launch, I just tap the app to launch the app. Treadmill. When you think about how much we swipe on our devices, it's actually kind of mind blowing. And that's sort of the premise behind Treadmill. It's from Ryan Petrich. And basically it calculates how many pixels you scroll. And then right there on the fly, it actually converts that number of pixels into something tangible, something we can relate to like yards. So you can really kind of understand how much you're actually scrolling on your iPhone using this tweak. It's pretty cool. It's called Treadmill. Gravitation is one of those really cool tweaks that doesn't do anything functional that improves like the iOS user experience, but it's actually just a really cool thing to check out and show off to your friends. It basically adds gravity to your iOS home screen and you can turn your iPhone around and watch the icons fall all around the screen just like that. And just by pressing the home button, you can make gravity go away. Time Alarm is an excellent tweak. By double tapping the clock on your lock screen, you invoke the Time Alarm interface, and then you can add a new alarm. And it's so easy because it has a little clock there. You just drag your finger to the hour that you wanna set. And once that's set, you drag your finger to the minute that you wanna set. You can select AM or PM, and then you can just add your alarm right there on the fly, right from the convenience of your lock screen. The nice thing about this is that you can always go back and edit your alarms right from the lock screen as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this one right here. So I think I got it set, all right. And now I just invoke the time alarm interface again. Of course, I can swipe on an alarm to edit or delete that alarm. Let's swipe on this to edit and see the same edit interface, or I can toggle the alarm on or off right from the lock screen. Awesome tweak. Spring Invaders is a tweak I showed you guys not too long ago, but let me show you again, this time in portrait mode. So basically this is a game that's heavily inspired by Space Invaders, of course, but there are some key differences. Number one, nothing actually shoots at you. You can actually uh, allow one of the enemy ships to run into you and there's nothing that happens because there's no collision detection. You also have these, what they call spring bombs, which are basically just huge app icons that you can shoot at the enemies. And also enemies themselves are basically app icons. Flame is a jailbreak tweak that's all about modifying the look and feel of Cydia. So you can go in, you can change the default page that opens when you launch Cydia. You can enable pull to refresh. You can do things like hold the copy for repos. You can share packages. You can do all sorts of things, change the status bar look use a dark keyboard, remove button border, all sorts of little tinkering things you can do to change the look and feel of Cydia. So let's go in, let me just show you some of the features that I've enabled courtesy of Flame. So you see right now it opened directly to the changes tab. I also have this little share button that I can use to share packages and stuff like that. I can go into the sources and I can tap and hold and copy a source, etc. Tech Search Pro allows you to perform searches from anywhere on your iPhone screen. So you see there, I brought up the text search box. I just type in my search string here. So I'm gonna type Filmic Pro and I'm gonna search on Google for that. And you can see there it is, Filmic Pro. But I can also use custom searches and I have one for nine to five Mac that I've created. So Filmic Pro again and just tap on nine to five Mac. 
and notice what happens. Bam, just like that. Snakebite is a tweak that works with 3D touch enabled phones by 3D touching on the left side to invoke the multitasking switcher, but even if you don't have a 3D touch enabled phone, you can just double tap and drag over to invoke the Snakebite sidebar, and there you can access recently used apps, and you can also access the multitasking switcher using the multitasking button at the bottom of the sidebar. Press unlock allows you to easily unlock your device by tapping and holding on a single button just like this. Ensemble places control center toggles right in your notification center. It also places music controls and quick launch shortcuts right in your control center for easy access. Great if you're using a jailbreak tweak that makes it difficult to invoke control center normally. Classic shutter animation does exactly what its name says it will. Basically gives you that old school shutter animation when taking photos with the stop camera app. Easy clear allows you to clear badges easily by using a 3D touch, just like this. Clear notifications, and we're done. And our last tweak on the list is Seeker. Now this is an extremely deep audio scrubbing extravaganza, basically. It allows you to scrub through audio in so many different ways. You can even use your volume up and down keys on your, on your phone, the physical volume buttons to scrub through your music, which means you can scrub through when your phone is locked and in your pocket, which is really nice. Gives you that nuance, fine grain control, and there's other much more fine grain control. In fact, you get skips based on the length of the audio that you're listening to, and that's basically just the tip of the iceberg. You can tap on the scrubber to go to an exact point in time and much more. Folks, let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.